Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use the interaction with the trail foot on the ground to really open up the trail hip as we move through backswing so we're in a better position to push off moving into downswing. Thanks once again for joining me. Often I'll get asked by players, what do they need to do to get through the ball better moving into impact and often it comes back to how they move through backswing how they've moved into their trail side today i want to focus on one key element of loading the chain through that trail side and it's one that's often missed and can be often overlooked because of um, let's just say how small it may seem when you first discuss it and it's actually how we use our big toe in our trail foot to actually push off the ground and load into our trail hip so we're in a good position here to push up into downswing. So essentially our big toes, or even the, and the pad just below the big toe, that's the part of the foot we're pushing off to get the lead hip to elevate up and open. So it's really important through backswing that we move in a way so we're able to actually utilize that movement in the start of downswing and into impact. Often though, what I'll see with players that are struggling to move from the trail side to the lead side, is that they will move through backswing in a way where the big toe loses connection to the ground and then there'll be a compensation to reconnect it and that compensation often leads to the trail hip getting higher as they transition to get the big toe back on the ground so if we can keep just good connection through backswing then we're able to push off that big toe and get the lead hip to move in the way we want to in the start of downswing. And that's what we see with a lot of good players. That's where the focus often goes, is they'll see the pelvis and the lead hip moving a certain way, but it's moving that way because a player is pushing off the trail side and has an intention there um, that they're trying to hit with the shot. Okay, so my key point here for a lot of players is that, one, if they're losing connection with that big toe, we probably want to make sure that the pelvis is starting to move more around them in the start of backswing. So a great little exercise for that is to take your back belt, belt loop as well. And it's as you move into backswing, just pull that back belt loop around rather than it getting, there being too much slide with the pelvis. So that's one thing to watch for. How are we moving around? The second thing to watch for is, is if we have too much movement with the pelvis early in the backswing, we might run out of range and that's when we're gonna see the big toe lift as well. So we want to, really pace when we start to use um, the hip rotation and the foot rotation. And that's why I believe that players can get, let's say halfway through backswing without having used too much of the lower body. So if we get to hip high, we'll see some, but from, let's just say there, that's when we're gonna push up and open the hip and get into that position at the top. And again, maintaining that connection with the big toes to the ground. And also at the same time, being mindful of the trail knee position. If it fully locks out, that often can pull the big toe up as well. Okay, so we wanna make sure the knee, uh, yes, it will straighten, but will it get locked out? Unlikely, that's often something I wouldn't want to see in a player. So uh, when we do this, you really feel that kind of traction with the ground. You feel how I put that straightening of the knee, the pushing of the toe can really help with the load in the trail hip there and really set you up to move well from your trail side into your lead side so i'm going to hit one here for us focus on the trail side here and see how we go so that's it me there and again when i said where i'm putting my attention is i really feel it in these this muscles hit these muscles here this area here when i do a good job so when i'm training this movement that's where my focus is am i getting that feeling and at the right time. So I'm getting at the top. And most importantly, do I feel as though I'm in a position to move the lead hip because that ultimately is the objective. Am I in a position where I can move really nicely into the start of downswing? 